when I was very young, I was very religious. My whole family was religious. My parents would even go to churches, the different churches, and they would carry these little backing tracks, these little Christian karaoke kind of things where they would sing songs about Jesus in other churches. And I loved it, I was really into it. I got so into it, in fact, that I developed sort of a religious compulsion and called scrupulosity, where you just can't feel clean enough, you can't pray enough, you know, you're always worried about like what happens if you didn't pray enough. Is God gonna be mad at me, that kind of thing. And I did not stop praying. I was always worried because my biggest fear in life was missing this thing called the rapture. And if you don't know what the rapture is, let me tell you, step one of the rapture, trumpet will sound. Trumpet will be blown by this angel who's gonna announce basically, this is like the end of the game of life. Like it's the trumpet, it's the buzzer at the end of the game of life and all the points get tallied. And if you make it, you get to step two, which is that you get zapped out of here, beamed up into heaven, taken from this earth before the antichrist comes, which is step three. Now, the Antichrist part is the scary part for me because I saw films about this whenever I was young. There was, this, there was this film called The Thief in the Night in the 70s. And we saw it, but even when I was young, we saw it again in the 80s. And it just shows how terrible it was. If you missed the rapture, the Antichrist is going to come. And if you didn't take the mark of the beast and seal your fate forever to be with the devil, then he was going to behead you. And it was just awful. So I was really scared of that. One night, I was sitting on my bed, nine or ten years old, and I remember just thinking about praying, and all of a sudden I heard the sound of a trumpet as loud and clear as I could possibly have heard it, and I jumped up on the edge of my bed. I was like, this is it. I get to see the rapture, and I'm like, beat me up, God, you know, getting in my pose. I'm ready to go through the ceiling or whatever's going to happen, leave my pile of steaming clothes behind, you know. But nothing happened, and the longer I stood there, the scarier I got. Oh no, did I miss it? Am I gonna be okay? Is the rapture happened, and I'm gonna get beheaded by the Antichrist? All these things in my 10-year-old beautiful brain. So I thought, oh, I just need to check and see if any people, anybody else is in the house. That'll be right. Nobody was there. My sisters must have been gone for the night. My parents' room, but the door was shut, and I, you know, you never go in there. Even if it's, even if there is a rapture, you just don't want to take, take a chance on going in and breaking those kinds of rules. So I didn't know. Nobody's home. And I thought, oh, there's another way. I could go outside, and I can check and see if I see the moon. I know it sounds weird, but there's a scripture that says that the sun will be turned to darkness, and the moon will be turned to blood. And I thought, oh, if the moon is blood, <laughs> if the moon is blood, then I know I've missed it. I went outside and I couldn't see the moon, but I assumed it probably was blood. And I'm just crying and scared and sweating. And I could just hear demon voices in my ears, you know. Um, your brain does so many crazy things when you're scared. And I go back into the house and I sit down on the couch and I start thinking about my plan because I know that if I can just hide from the Antichrist for three and a half years, then after that, then Jesus is going to come and set up his kingdom. Uh, and so I started thinking about packing the beef jerky and going off into the woods, and I hear my second trumpet of the night. <laughs> the same sound of the same trumpet as before, and I thought, well, maybe God's just, like, doing the trumpet again. Maybe it was like a rapture drill. <laughs> And he's like, I guess we have to do it now. Um, but no, it was just my parents. They had found another backing track of a new song that they had. And it was a song called The Midnight Cry. And it was about the rapture. 